Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll be deriving Ohm's law on the basis of free electron model, or you can say on the basis of Bick's law. Derivation of Ohm's law on the basis of free electron model. Or you can say on the basis of drift velocity. Okay. See, <coughs> this is a conductor. Okay. Right. It's connected with a battery. Okay. Of B. Uh, now, suppose this is a current I. Okay. Uh, what will happen to free electrons? These are free electrons, right? They are randomly moving here and there. Okay. They will experience a force. Okay. Just opposite to the generator electric field. Electric field is generated in this direction, right? The length of conductor is L. Area is A. Okay. Cross sectional area. And Suppose, let's say they are uh, their random movement are somewhat like this. Let's say there are n number of electrons. Okay, then force on each electron it will be vector F is equal to minus E into electric field Q into E. Acceleration will be vector F upon M. That means E, e by m right suppose u1 u2 u3 and so on be the indivisible thermal speeds of free electrons okay means this is u1 vector u1 vector u2 okay this is vector u3 okay the, they are what individual thermal speeds of electrons okay and uh, under the effect of applied electric field electron will get in acceleration and acquires a velocity okay a uh, velocity component in the direction of opposite to the electric field okay this gain in velocity is very small okay and law this uh, gain will be lost in each collision okay if v1 v2 v3 and so on up to vn be the velocity of free electrons in the presence of electric field then v1 will be u1 plus a tau 1 okay vector v1 is equals to u1 plus a tau 1 okay this will be your final velocity S similarly v2 will be u2 plus a tau2 tau1 tau2 tau3 and so on tau1 is what they all are relaxation time of electrons free electrons okay and v1 v2 v3 and so on up to vn these are the uh, final velocity of the electrons okay plus a tau m Okay. Now, what will be your average velocity of the free electrons? This will be V d is equals to vector V one plus vector V two plus vector V three up to vector V n upon n. Hey, here n is what number of free electrons. This will be your drift velocity. Okay, average velocity, which is what drift velocity right now you can put the values of v1 v2 v3 and so on up to v1 in from all these equation to this so vd will be u1 plus u2 plus u3 up to so on up to un plus you can take a common a is what common acceleration of each electron okay and that is equal of every electron okay from here you can see okay a this will be tau 1 plus tau 2 plus tau 3 plus tau 4 up to tau n upon n here your vector u1 plus vector u2 plus vector u3 plus and so on up to vector u1 
upon n. This will be zero. Why so? Because u1, u2, u3, and so on, u n all are what? They are random velocity. So their vector sum will be zero. That's why this u vector u1 plus vector u2 plus vector u3 and so on divided by n. This will be zero. Now this second term is left out. Means Vd is equal to 0 plus a tau, vector a into tau. Here tau is what? You can say this is the average relaxation time. Means tau is, sorry, tau is tau 1 plus tau 2 plus tau 3 plus and so on up to tau n upon this is what average relaxation time right so from here vd will be you can put the value of vector a it will be minus e e tau by this will be like this you can check in the books okay what's the symbol of tau it's on this side or this side tau upon m this is vector so from uh, in magnitude you can write it as e e tau by okay now this is you have got the uh, relation between electric field relaxation time and drift velocity okay if the length of conductor is l the e will be obviously the applied potential difference upon length okay what will be the current flows through conductor i this will be n into a into a into vd we have derived this in the previous video so from here i is equals to you can write vd as e, e tau by m so from here you can write i as n e square a tau upon m into v by l on putting the value of i or oh sorry on putting the value of vd from this equation into this equation you will get this i as there so from here i upon v is equal to n e square a tau upon ml okay and this if you uh, reciprocate this then v by i will be ml by n e square a tau this v by i is what this is resistance okay r is equals to v by i and you know that uh, this term ml by n e square a tau they will be this is what this is a constant okay since physical state of a conductor is constant, if physical state of a conductor is constant, then your mass will be constant, length will be constant, n will be constant, e is universal constant, a will be constant, and tau will be constant. So from here you can get this v by i is equals to r is equals to. This is what this is your Ohm's law. So we have derived the Ohm's law from. We have derived the Ohm's law from the help of a. Uh, Free electron model, or you can say on the basis of drift velocity. Okay, and this is what this is also a electrical resistance R is equal to ML by any e square A tau. Right, so from your, here you can uh, derive this what R is directly proportional to L, R will be inversely proportional to N, it will be inversely proportional to A, it will be inversely proportional to relaxation time. Okay. So, uh, from next video, we will be studying about uh, resistivity, conductivity, and mobility. Till then, thank you.